Okay, so now in this video, I'm going to um, copy one of these models. Um, let's say the odd model. Sorry, uh, to put this back. Uh, let's say the odd model, and um, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm pressing copy. I go to my uh, general uh, design and uh, paste another system design. Um, let me open this one. And instead of odd one, let's call it a split or um, one fourth. Um, so I call it a split, which is a smaller version of what we have here. So uh, in order to split this, as I showed you one time before, um, what you do is you basically select everything and uh, control A or you go to edit and then press select all. And then under the modeler and then Boolean, um, under the model and then the boolean, you go and select the split. Um, in this case, we want to split first on the y, z direction, and we want to make sure that we are keeping the positive sign, and uh, we are going to delete the uh, invalid subjects, and uh, not, nothing, uh, nothing else has to be changed here. So I, I, I split this, and you see, as you can see, it's uh, already split. It. Now I want to do one more split to basically uh, reach to one fourth of the design. In this case, I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to uh, split the design in X and Z uh, plane, and therefore <coughs> uh, everything else is going to be the same. And pressing OK on that. Okay, there we go. So now we got the coil. Um, number one um, ready for our set. Uh, last thing you want to do is um, you want to actually look at the the, the, um, direction of the current here. So we have a current that's going upward and the, the excitation is is not changed yet. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, change the. So I'm gonna change this uh, region that I have, and uh, let me open it up a bit more. And uh, so as you can see, I'm under the split design, and I'm double clicking on the region, and um, just want to make sure that the minus x pad. The padding for the minus x um, is uh, zero. Minus x padding that data is zero, and also the minus y padding is also zero. Okay. So that uh, makes sure that everything is exactly um, symmetric. So all these paddings are actually uh, gone. So we had a padding here and we had a padding here. So we got rid of those things. Okay. And now what we want to do is we want to define our boundaries as we were talking about that all the way till now. So uh, press F uh, in order to be able to select only the faces. And uh, let's. Let's move this guy a bit so we can see it in a better way. So now, what we want to do is um, we want to define one of these faces. Uh, let me make it a bit better looking. Um, Okay, uh, so I'm going to select one of these face and right click on that and uh, on the assigned boundary, I want to call it a master and uh, uh, master one, whatever. And then uh, for the U, uh, basically the vector, um, So basically, for the u vector here, uh, we want to say uh, 
new vector and uh, we put the values uh, by just putting the value here uh, 0 0 and 0 for the Z and um, and then for the DX DY and DZ uh, we have DX 0 DY 0 and the DZ is 1 millimeters relatively so that will um, give us the a vector for calculation uh, which is basically u vector and uh, pressing ok so the u vector is going to be uh, from the center uh, to up so that's our u vector and now um, we can actually do the same thing and uh, create our slave uh, face and uh, I go here and select slave and um, over here and now you have two choices let's first define the u vector here uh, that will be the same uh, u vector that we defined for the other one so basically you have 0 for x 0 for y and 0 for z and then when you press enter you have basically 0 for dx 0 for dy but for the dz we have only one so that's the same vector for calculation of the fields and uh, you press ok on that uh, but then when it comes to the uh, relation, um, now you have two options. Uh, do you want the slave H to be exactly equal to the, uh, the, the master H? Or you want to make it uh, the opposite or invert it? So you will see what will happen if I do this inversion here. So first I will go with uh, the, the same. And... Uh, Oh, sorry, the master boundary is going to be uh, the master here, and I select that, and uh, you just press OK. Unable to make a valid mapping between the slave and master using the UI axis. Um, I want to make sure that I define this thing well. And Um, I'm putting 0, 0, 0, and uh, 0, 0, and 1 for the DC, as I, was, as I said, and for the V, it's reverse direction, and these are the same, so I press OK, it does work. Well, the first time it doesn't work, but the second time it does. So. Um, that would basically concludes the way that we actually create this and uh, if you run this you should have no problem and, and now I'm gonna uh, run the simulation and basically show you how um, the result would look like um, I don't know how long it will take to to finish definitely it should finish faster than the, the full model um, but I will pause the video and come back uh, when the result is ready Okay, the simulation has been finished, and now we have the simulation result with the split uh, model using the master-slave uh, boundaries. Uh, what I'm going to do is first, um, I want to see uh, what I have for the split uh, uh, view. I'm pressing Alt key and double click on the top, and uh, I should be able to actually zoom in. Um, enough to be able to see what exactly we have here and uh, I'm also going to uh, modify the plot and make sure that I can have as much as possible number of arrows um, although it's good enough I don't need to make it larger because it get uglier so just press OK on that. Okay, so now you see what we have here is very, very similar to what we used to have. Um, over here. So I'm just pressing... Uh, trying to uh, make it a bit larger actually it's better to not do that because uh, I want to uh, you be able to see the, 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 the flow of this so you see here that we have this uh, situation that the edge is actually uh, 
getting in parallel with the with the with the y axis and also the x axis here and the reason is because everyone is like sinking in the same directions there we go we have the same conditions here defining the h master equal to h h slave uh, which basically replicate the the same amount of the h and actually if i uh, bring this fellow up here you can see that the values that we have is also the same um, And uh, based on the colors, you can actually see that we get almost the same amount um, of uh, the the, uh, the value for the for the B uh, magnetic field. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make it more interesting and see if I can actually model this one. So in this one, we have the opposite side next to this coil we have the negative inverted current and an edge so let's see what will happen if I do that um, so basically I go and open the boundaries here on the odd model and when I double click on the slave I can actually ask uh, the modeler to make the slave to be negative HM uh, H means the H uh, field and M is master so uh, the slave is going to be negative of the master I'm pressing OK on that it just uh, accepted it and cleared all the um, results that it, it got uh, meaning that uh, now I'm going to redo the simulations and this time uh, I'm actually hoping to see something very close to here very similar to this one so uh, let me just go and make sure it's everything is valid and run the simulation and uh, and see how actually this one is going to look like okay the simulation has been finished and now um, if I go to uh, the results and just uh, update all reports um, and also here I have to update uh, this one okay when you click on it it automatically updates and uh, now you can see uh, well, first of all the numbers are the same again so I'm not going to show you the numbers anymore and now if you look at this one it does uh, particularly look like this fellow here and everyone is actually going in from every side to basically merge inside and then it will uh, it will open up so you can see that it's not anymore look like this where you have uh, people like uh, being like in parallel with the X or Y um, axis it's not anymore like that it's like actually you can see that it's not in parallel and it's basically replicating what we have here uh, more or less. Uh, I wish I could move this one a bit so you can actually uh, feel it better. And anyway, so you can see basically the whole idea here. Um, let me see if I can actually make a bit uh, uh, let me see if I can make the number of the Or maybe the scale a bit uh, larger. Well, I think I can't. Uh, oh, maybe. Well, I can't actually show you exactly what's going on here, but um, we basically should see the same effect here as you can see here, and. Uh, uh, it is actually showing it from here you can see this and this and this is right there here and um, everything is exactly the same as the odd model so what I've done was just uh, change the slave and um, so this is a master and this is the slave and I just made the slave to be the opposite of the master and over on the other hand uh, the previous simulation I said master and slave to be exactly the same since we have the same situation going on uh, in the in the even more in the even uh, situation 
Okay, so I hope that you guys uh, like that uh, simulations and uh, got the information that you wanted to know. Uh, I tried to cover all about the master and slave boundaries and tell you what is actually going on. Uh, now you saw all this stuff in the edge field. If you wanted to see in the other field, uh, you basically wait for uh, you just change the modeler into uh, Uh, into electrostatic and then uh, all these uh, calculations and results would be for the E uh, field instead of B field. Okay, if you have any comments, please uh, leave it below the videos and you can like this videos and also you can also subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to update all the videos every now and then and you can see uh, the new videos as soon as I upload it in your uh, YouTube home page and uh, you, you will notice as soon as I update new uh, uploads.